and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another pen for review. Now this pen is on loan from John at stjohnspens.com. So I'd like to thank John for the loan of this pen for review. This is a Montegrappa Nazionale Flex fountain pen and it's the Indian Rainbow. It's number 74 of 100 and this pen uh, is for sale on John's site and he loaned me this pen so that I could actually review it here. So I'd like to thank John for the loan of this pen. So I think let's unbox this. It comes in this very substantial box and with this sleeve here that I've just removed and you will then see this. So this is the Nazionale Flex and this is a booklet that comes with it and this will go into the history of Montegrappa and a lot of this is in Italian there is an English section it also gives you a certificate of authenticity as well and this comes with the Indian rainbow and it's a fine nib so remove that out of the way and then it comes in this box here now if I remove this lid carefully, you'll see that there is another box. So <laughs> this is something that a lot of Italian manufacturers like to do. A box within a box within a box. And this is actually quite a substantial box here. It's a wooden box and if I can just not bump the camera, you'll see it has the Montegrappa logo here. The underneath of the box is felt so it won't scratch the desk and this comes with a very very substantial you can probably hear that magnet and it is quite hard to open up I will try and avoid bumping the camera and it has Montegrappa here and then you will see this so first off what you get in this box is a bottle of Montegrappa ink and I do like it when manufacturers do this now this ink if you look through the bottle here it's a looks like it's a blue ink uh, although it's a green Montegrappa logo but it definitely looks of a blue color inside that bottle to me I'm not going to unwrap the bottle because this bottle and the pen is going back to John because this pen is for sale so I'm not going to open that it also comes with this cleaning cloth here which has the Montegrappa logo on there too I'll just put that in there for the moment and then you have the pen sitting there on its bed and if I lift the bed there's a couple of tassels here you also get this Montegrappa book now this is a substantial book look how thick that book is you don't tend to see that with fountain pens uh, much nowadays but it shows you the original Montegrappa factory and people working in it it also gives you instructions there on how to fill the pen so the Nazionale Flex is a piston filling pen now these actually give details in pretty much every language that you would need and that is a substantial booklet so I'll put the booklet away there's nothing under this this is glued into place and then I'll put the bed back like so so let me zoom in a little bit more and you'll see the pen here so this is the Montegrappa Nazionale Flex in the Indian Rainbow and this is actually quite a nice looking pen so for me if I just shut the box so that you can probably see it a little bit better I zoom out a bit more you'll see here that this is actually quite a nice looking pen now Montegrappa do use celluloid in a lot of their materials in their more expensive range of pens and this is certainly one of those 
and what you can find here is it has a black cap finial, a very, very substantial clip here, which is quite tight, but it's not going to slip out of your shirt pocket anytime soon. The pen actually is quite cylindrical. It doesn't really taper down much until you get to this cap band here. And then it tapers down to the body. And then again, it tapers down at this band to what is effectively the piston filling knob and if I unscrew the pen you will see it has a Montegrappa nib and this nib really is a lovely design nib it also has those flex cut out wings that you're seeing on a lot of uh, newer pens more lately sometimes it's more uh, steel nibs but you're also seeing it like Penida did it on a gold nib they have their quill nib and uh, other manufacturers are doing the same so this has that same flex sort of going on there it just basically helps you flex the nib a little bit more get a little bit more bounce out of that nib uh, so this is a gold nib it's not a steel nib it does have a plastic ABS feed there though uh, and this is a piston filling pen so in the size of my hand here you can see this is actually quite a nice size and it is celluloid uh, I do like this I do like celluloid and I can smell the camphor in this celluloid as well now the size of the pen is quite good in the size of my hand I actually do like the length of this I am finding though for me that the pen is a little bit more on the thinner side to what I personally like. Uh, I tend to like more girthier, thicker pens. Um, you can post the cap if you want to. Uh, it does become quite long, but it does actually work and it's not back heavy. It's actually fairly well balanced in my hand. Uh, for me, I don't normally post caps. I just find that I don't normally have a need for it unless the pen is really short. Now I did mention that this is a little bit more on the thinner side to what I would prefer. I can actually hold it higher up here if I wanted to around the threads or around the base of the celluloid material here on the body and if I posted the cap it actually wouldn't be too bad for me. I just prefer to have a, a wider section when I'm writing. I know that some people are a little bit perplexed because they say that they don't like thicker pens or heavier pens because they feel that the pen becomes uncontrollable and then they grip it heavier because or grip it harder because they think the pen is going to slip out of their hands. For me, it's actually the opposite. When I actually have a thinner pen, I find that I grip it more harder. So for me... Uh, and I, I know that I am in the minority here because the majority actually prefer thinner pens um, but for me I find that I have to grip it more and that creates more hand cramp for me but I like this pen it, it's for me it's it's a winner and I actually think I could write with this pen I think I wouldn't want to go any thinner than that because it is quite a thin pen but this to me basically harks back to the vintage style of pens and if you don't know the Nazionali is actually a vintage pen so this pen's design is enriched with a black resin detail on its junctions and blind cap the material being the superior modern substitute for ebonite made with sacrificing the correct look trim is also necessary in sterling silver in the midsection, metal ring is further engraved with the brand logo, while the pocket clip ends up with a decorative teardrop element augmenting the vintage feel. What has changed though in this pen, because this is a pen that dates back to the Art Deco like 1930s, is the nib. The most crucial function and part of any pen to ensure that its writability matches the expectations of the modern user. The new Nazionali to be known as a Nazionali Flex is so named because it is fitted with a flexible nib that allows different types of handwriting and calligraphic experiences to be performed with the same writing instrument by simply applying more pressure to the nib. 
For enhanced flexibility, the nib is made of 14 karat gold and will be made available only in the grades of extra fine and fine, as it accomplishes the rest on its own according to how it is applied. So you don't really need a medium or a broad or double broad nib. So you do actually, you can flex this nib quite a bit. So for me, this is actually quite a nice pen. So I think let's do a size check, we'll do a weight check, we'll do a pen comparison and then we'll do a writing sample. So the size of the pen, we are looking at 135 millimeters in length and if we do a check from the tip of the tines, we are looking at about 128 millimeters in length. So it's not a short pen, but it is quite a thin pen. And that dates back to the Art Deco uh, sort of times of the 1930s when you would get vintage pens. Most of the vintage pens are thinner pens. So I think let's do a weight check. Now, the weight of the pen uninked is just over 36 grams. The weight of the cap is just under 14 grams. And in uninked, the weight of the pen, we're looking at just over 19 grams. So it's not a heavy pen it's actually quite a lightweight pen and to be honest that actually goes with the size of this pen i do actually like this uh, material and this is the indian rainbow material i didn't think i would actually like this material so much but it has grown on me it is actually quite an interesting material here so for me that is a really really nice material there and I do like how chunky that clip is as well. So for me, this is actually quite a nice pen. So I think let's do a pen comparison. So from left to right, we have the Visconti Last Templar Jacques de Molay. We have a Pelican M800 Royal Gold Raden. We have a Pelican M1000 Raden Starlight. We have a Pelican M1000 Raden Sunlight. We have a Montegrappa Extra 1930 Shiny Lines Dove. We have the Montegrappa Nagenali Flex. We have an Omas Milord, and this is in the wild. We have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Arco Verde, an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Arco Brown, and last but not least, we have the Scribo Feel in Prato Verde. So as you can see here, these two Montegrappas are actually fairly lengthy in terms of themselves but you'll see that the actual size here is maybe a little bit thinner on the Nagenali flex so let's do a writing sample here so this is the Montegrappa and this is the Nagenali And it's the flex and it does actually have quite a bit of flex to it now this is a fine nib but it's also a 14 cat gold nib now it does have a little bit of feedback to it but I actually am starting to like more feedback on my nibs rather than actually having uh, a sort of glassy smooth nib now the ink in here today is Waterman and it's inspired blue now I did mention that this is a piston filling pen as well uh, now in terms of line variation it's a fine nib so you're going to get a very very fine line coming out of it now if I try to apply a little bit more pressure you can coax probably I would say about three times the line width and you can see here that this is actually quite a nice nib to flex now I'm not going to flex it any more than that because that to me 
is my comfort zone and I know some people will say it's a flex nib go flex it well first off yes you can flex a flex nib but you also can spring the tines and especially on a 14 karat gold nib as well and I have seen people do it on a 14 karat gold nib I've actually even done it on uh, one of my 14 karat gold nibs so I know to the point where I'm comfortable in pushing a nib and I'm not going to push it any further plus this pen's going back to John at stjohnspens.com so I'm not going to ruin this pen for him or for whoever goes to buy this pen so in terms of wetness let's have a look now this is quite a dry nib it's not super wet but if I apply a little bit of pressure, you can see I'm getting a lot more ink out there and then it becomes super wet. And that is bordering, that actually that is fire hose of a nib. So I can see why Montegrappers say that you don't need the Nazionale Flex in a medium or a broad nib or even anything sort of wider than that because you can actually get the flex out of this nib if you so wish but it does actually write as a fine nib out of the box but if you want to apply more pressure you can do so what do I like about the pen what do I don't like about the pen I like the design I like that this pen I love love the material I love this rainbow uh, in Indian rainbow I love the clip I love that it's a piston filling pen I pretty much love everything about the pen for me and it's obviously a personal touch. I find the pen a little bit more on the thinner side than I would normally buy myself. But I know a lot of people that watch my videos here actually do comment that they prefer a thinner size pen or a thinner grip size. Uh, I love the nib on this pen as well. I really like that it's a flex nib and I like that that design there is really beautiful. So for me, this is a really nice pen and I do like Montegrappers and I do have another Montegrapper in my collection as you saw and that's this one here which is a little bit longer and a little bit wider and that is the Montegrappa Extra 1930 Shiny Lines Dove. Unfortunately, long sold out but it's a beautiful pen and I would like to add some more Montegrappers to my collection at some point. So the Nationale Flex is definitely a pen that I've been looking at. I know a lot of people that watch my videos prefer more thinner pens. So this pen is probably right up your alleyway if you like the narrower pens. Uh, and also you want to play around with a nib that is a soft bouncy nib where you can get quite a bit of flex out of it. So this pen was loaned to me from John at stjohnspens.com. John is also on Instagram as St. John's Pens. John normally goes to all of the UK and European pen shows. Check him out there if you can. If you can't, for whatever reason, do go and check him out online, either on Instagram as St. John's Pens or at stjohnspens.com. He sells pens via his website, and you can buy this pen along with many other pens from his website. So thanks again to John for lending me this pen for review. So that's my review of the Montegrappa Nazionale Flex. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.